Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling an interesting question from one of our viewers. They want to know how to trigger animations in a React app based on the scroll position. Specifically, they ask, how can I add an element to the nav bar when the user has scrolled past the header of the site, all without using jQuery? Let's break this down and explore how we can achieve this using React's powerful features. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. To trigger animations based on Stun's scroll position in a React app, we first need to set up a state to track the scroll position. Let's start by creating a new React component. Next, we will use the use effect hook to add an event listener for the scroll event. This will allow us to update our state based on the user's scroll position. Now, we need to define the header height. This is the point at which we want to trigger the animation. You can set this value based on your layout. Finally, we can conditionally render the navbar element based on the scroll state. If the user has scrolled past the header, we will display the navbar. And that's it. You've successfully set up scroll triggered animations in your React app without using jQuery. Remember to test your implementation to ensure it works as expected. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. trigger animations in a React app based on scroll position, you can use the component did mount lifecycle method to add a scroll event listener. This listener will call a function that checks the scroll position relative to your header's height. In the calc scroll function, if the user scrolls past the header, you can update the state to trigger a re-render. You can also handle the case when the user scrolls back up. For smooth animations when elements are added or removed, you can add a CSS transition to the element's style. This will create a fade effect. You can also explore a library called React Sticky Dynamic Header for more features. Check it out on NPM. And that's it. I hope that that's helped find the solution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Every time you hit it, it really helps. Now, I'll see you next time. Next time you need some technical help. And until then, have a good one.